Can I sing you a song? No. Are you ready? Yes. Mr. 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 Do you ever used to watch Sister Sister? It's no flex all in my sack. No. Hi guys, today Rose and I are going to teach you how to be more confident. It's real talk. <laughs> As if it can be taught. Is that what you're laughing at? No, I just thought it would give us some kind of like yeah. atmospheric. Okay. Just kind of sounded evil. Again, again. What, you want to add the evil laugh? Hi guys, today Rose and I are going to teach you how to be more <laughs> confident. <laughs> Better? No. I don't think we need it. I, f I find confidence is all about how you squint. Right, check it out. Ready? Okay, I don't want to be giving everyone bad advice. Why do you I'll assume it's bad advice? <laughs> if I wanted to say something confidently, I would say it and then take a victory sip if I believed in myself. What if you don't have a drink? Easy. It's a victory sigh. I'll demonstrate the two. Victory sip. Blana, blana. No, no, no. Victory sigh. Sigh, yeah. Splana, mana. Splana, mana. I like to think that if you say something confidently and you believe you're confident, if you cheers yourself, even if no one else has a drink. I would say agree to that, but cheers. Where do you get all your confidence from? Tell me. Can I say as well, not being rude at all, but I'm going to bring something up. What? I'm not being rude. What? But like, younger you, right? In hindsight. Look, you've got to right. hit rock bottom before you can get right. to the top, all right? <laughs> Just listen, this is in what? hindsight. Like, what? for example, 19 year old you, right? Yeah. Maybe didn't have, like, for the time, the most on trend hair. Maybe, you know, you know, you didn't have perfect skin, you had braces, you know, there were some things that might make someone feel underconfident, right? If depending on who they are, you know. And yeah, I feel like you had an abundance of like confident energy. Yeah, I did. The cliche saying goes, there's only one you, so be the best version of you that you can be. Yeah, true. Did true. I get that right? Yeah. God. Apart from when you said, you, you said the cliche in quote. Oh, well, well, just, why don't you just try and knock my confidence, Rosie? I didn't know clicheing was a word, but you just keep doing it. Something in my eye. Oh. It's confidence. <sighs> no, it's hair. Oh. <laughs> Is it actually in your eye? I've got it. Yeah. It was confidence. <laughs> I feel like I'm a naturally confident person, but as with anyone, like, whatever your confidence levels are, I feel like confidence does this. Oh, 100%. Because people can upset you and you feel under, or things can happen, and you feel less confident certain days, right? Um, for example, a bad haircut. There's nothing like a bad haircut to make someone feel really underconfident, right? I feel like confidence might be affected from bad experiences oh, yeah. too. Say yeah. I went on a panel and I spoke badly or I said something that people didn't agree with, it would really knock my confidence in mm. order to do it again. And the only mm. way you can really build that confidence is to, as they say, get back on the horse and give it a go. But it's only until you do it the second time that you can soon begin yeah. to regain that confidence and, and carry on from there. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of like, you need to be tested until you realise how much you can actually cope with. Mm. Like, I'm going to make an analogy here. Mm. I've got a huge fear of flying and I haven't been able to fully get over it without having some really, really terrible turbulence. And at the time, I hate it. I'm not confident. I think I'm going to die and it's the worst feeling of my life. I cry. Um, but then, when I've landed safely, I think, okay, I handled that. I could probably handle something a little bit worse if it happens. And I feel like that is just bad experiences leading to better things because I am more confident as a result. And you just described how confidence and fear are related. Because you're scared and fearful of flying and it makes you feel underconfident. Rose Index PhD. I could have a PhD if I wanted one, Rosie. Okay. Does that mean you're a doctor if you've got a PhD? No, it means you're a professional... Hayden Dix. Does the D stand for doctor? I don't know. Professional Hayden Dix. Okay. I am the product of Hayden Dix. Okay. And I'm a professional. Ah, being a product of him. PhD. Comparison is the thief of joy. And I think comparison is the thief of confidence because that's when you start feeling underconfident, when you start comparing yourself to others. You've got to big yourself up. If people are ever judging you or set criticizing you in any way, that's never your problem. Yeah. That's their problem. 100%. Because it's, it's what's going on in their mind. It's their thoughts, their reaction, their little world, their lashing out. 
If people are truly confident, they don't bring others down. That's so I, true. I've never gone on Instagram ever in my life and written a bad comment under someone else's Instagram photos. But every morning when I wake up and I'm like, you know, in bed trying to wake up, I go on Facebook, I go on Twitter, I go on Instagram, and I just like, 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 like other people's things. Because I'm a positive person. If I like something, I'll show them and I'll tell them and I'll spread the love. And I think that if someone's doing the opposite, and, and unless it's constructive criticism, if someone's being like, oh, you're ugly, or you're too fat, or whatever they're saying. It's like, are we? It, it, or, or, is are the, or, or are you? Or are you very Or you think about yourself, yeah. at or, least. Uh, I also heard that if you ever hate someone, or don't like something about someone, it's because you're recognising something in them that you don't like about right yourself. Right here at home. I, right. Or you may have done that makes you feel ashamed or embarrassed or angry or hurt or whatever. So if anyone's ever bringing down your confidence, unless it's constructive, unless they're being a good friend and saying, look, I, don't, I can't think of anything constructive. I don't like your lesbian pantsuit in the middle of summer. <laughs> if I could give you any advice on how to be confident, there have been times in my life where I've not been confident at all, mm -hmm. where I've hated, truly hated myself, wished I looked like something different, mm -hmm. wish I sounded like something different, wish I acted like something different, wish I could dress a certain way. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you know, I still have a few problems in some of those areas. Um, I think that you always carry insecurity with you, but being confident is being able to live with insecurity and still be okay. Oh, that is a be... confident move. Mm -hmm. that, now that is a confident mm -hmm. move. Mm -hmm. I want some. It's a bit, you know you shouldn't be there. She doesn't give a crap, does she? Confidence is not, will they like me? Confidence is, I'll be fine if they don't. Exactly. I'll be fine. You can't please everyone. Believe it or not, there are people in this world that probably don't like us. I've never met any of them. Yeah, my mum says not everybody has to like everybody. As and that's well. okay. You're never gonna like every single person in the world. Personalities just don't, you know, it just right. doesn't work. You just might not get it. You can't be liked by every single person, even the most popular person in the world. Like, look at the Kardashians. What I've learned about confidence is there are some people in life that you can trust and rely on and are good people and will be good to you. And then there's some people that you can't trust or rely on. And therefore, what you can do is learn to trust in yourself and that's where confidence comes from because then you know you can walk into a situation and even if nobody had your back I'd like to think there would be some people but even if nobody had your back if you're confident that you're in the right and you trust yourself and you know you'll be okay and you trust your judgment fine and that comes with experience mm. I think you learn that and age. I do feel like confidence does kind of like develop with age as well. Well, I just think as you get older, it's not a condescending thing. I just think that different experiences you have, like school, yeah. uni, and yeah. then different jobs. And then as you yeah. go up in the job ladder, I think through those experiences, obviously you gain wisdom. Like I've had bad experiences at work, good experiences at work. You learn from it. As Grace Helbig once said, follow your fear. Because if you do something you're fearful of and you do it, it makes you think, yes, I'm so powerful, I can do it. You, you, you've got to push your own boundaries, and that's how you learn to trust in yourself. You have. But yeah, I totally agree. It, 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 that's exactly what I was saying. It's like, if, you, if you go and do something and learn what, what you are and aren't capable of, then you can know you, trust you, and know what you can and can't do. And you have confidence yourself. in yourself. Yeah. And know, yourself. And know yourself. When I was younger, I had a lot of friends, but not all of them, when it came down to it, were like... Slept with you? Even when I was very young, as long as, I, to condom? as long as I knew I was in the right and like knew that I knew what I was doing, like if someone was bringing me down and being nasty about me, I'd be like, bye, out my life then. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's true. I mean, some people might not want to burn bridges and it depends what situation you're in. If you, well, work, I, if you work with someone every day, it's like kind of hard to be like, can you go away? I repaired please? the bridge that you burned when I read your diary because I came crawling and I really you, did make the effort. You burned that bridge when you read my diary. You burnt it, babe, when you said, they'd get, get out of my life, I hope you die. Because you read my diary. Well, I, I yeah, I did do that, yeah. You burned yeah. the bridge. Yeah, well, you I couldn't trust the bridge. I couldn't trust you back then. You couldn't trust... <laughs> a funny joke you just told babe you couldn't trust me because yeah, <laughs> you read my diaries Re diaries plural yeah i used to log into my facebook messages and read them 
So yeah, negative um, experiences can definitely affect your confidence. Other people could bring your confidence down. So you've got to build yourself a circle of people you can rely on and trust. You've got to Starting build- Starting here. Yeah, follow your fear, test your limits, build trust in yourself. Uh, you've got to stop comparing yourself to others. Be the best you, if you're you, like, I feel like when someone talks about something they're passionate about, that they love, I feel like they shine. I would say one final thing about confidence as well. I think if you sit there and judge other people and criticize and bring them down, even if not to their face, even if you just say it to yourself, I think that makes you believe that that's what other people are doing to you. Like if you judge others, if people walk past you and you're like, oh, she looks shit or whatever, I don't know what you'd say. Then I think when you walk out, you might think, oh, do people think that about me? Whereas if you're always giving people confidence... Be a nice person. Right, if you're telling Don't people how great they look and always boosting other people up, then I feel like you won't be worried that other people are thinking nasty thoughts about you. I think if you have a positive, really nice mindset, then Agreed. I think that you'll feel nice and that you'll impact others. And I also think, like Rose said earlier, that you'll bring uh the draw people around positive, you who are like-minded positive people right and i think that's the best way to be confident you've got to be down to be happy you've like got to Karen learn says, what does she say she goes gonna get up and knock you down something else get back up when it knocks you down i mean it doesn't just have to be about love it could be about anything it could be about hate or you know cheese but i'm just saying it's a good why don't I look like that? Why isn't my Instagram as, as amazing as that? Why things? But then you could, you know, there's always someone who will, who looks at you and thinks you're the shit. And you might not know it. Social commentary out of all the problems they could have had. Oh my God, someone's Instagram is better than mine. I feel like some people think that. I feel like that's coming from within, baby. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. But yeah, Rose and I, just like you guys, and like, you know, we, we feel underconfident sometimes. I feel ugly sometimes and I feel hot sometimes. I feel good sometimes and I feel bad sometimes. Yeah. So that's natural. And also if you have a bad day, don't beat yourself up too bad. No. You know, you're allowed to have a bad day. You're allowed to have a bad week or whatever. You're allowed to have bad times and think, oh, I hate myself. But then you're also allowed to love yourself. Give yourself permission to tell yourself how great you are. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe on this video and we will see you in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to Rosie because there are vlogs. This is my channel. to this channel that I'm on as a special guest star and, uh, and we'll see you very very soon. Love you all and take care of yourself. Remember, you are pretty awesome. You are beautiful. If you've got a tip on how to be confident, leave it in the comments below. It's a process you guys. It's going to be up, it's going to be down, it's going to be up, it's going to be down and that my friends is life. Tune in next week and we're going to be talking to you about how to put others down. That was a joke because it's ironic. I got, I got the right. joke. Yeah, okay, you don't cool. need to explain. That's, well.